Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we're going to be checking these cameras out. And uh, they were cheap. Can't remember how much they were. Put it across the screen right now. We're going to open these up and check them out. And I'll tell you what we're going to do with them. Stick around. Okay, so we got we got these cameras, the Wi-Fi Panoram Panorama camera, and it says easy to achieve real-time remote viewing. Now you can record with these, they have a memory card, or you can pay for the cloud because the memory card you know only holds so much, and then it'll just it's supposed to be able to loop, just be able to keep recording over the cards. But, um, and this is the way it came. Okay. Address. Just like this. Not taped up. Nothing. A little bit of damage there. There's some damage there. Kind of dented here. You know, it's just. And I, I. Why would you send something like that? Just, you know, it's getting thrown around. And it's not even taped closed, so I did check and make sure everything was in here. Uh, it is, but I'm surprised it is. Like these cards, you know, this box not being taped. Somebody opened that up and steal your damn cards, and then you know you can't prove that. So, all right. So we've got our two cards, or 64 gig each, and we got two of these, one for each camera, which is you know the little thing you open up to put your card in. Now it's got these things. Let this see. These are there. You can screw them into a regular light socket, okay? But they give you these, which I don't know. My opinion is kind of useless. But anyway, which shows on the box. I'll show you what it's what it says. It comes with you know one of those flat things. See where the wire would come out. And then you screw your bulb into that. So, but they gave me these. It's they're kind of I don't know stupid. Let's get one of these out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hang one up right now, and then see if uh, and see if we like it. And if we do, I'll put one on each corner at the front of the house. And then the two I got out there, I'll move around back. But we got to see if we like them first. And if we really like them, we'll we'll get cloud. But Oh, these things just must be for a reset. Because there's a reset button here. Right there. So, it swivels. It's supposed to turn so far each way and then it goes up and down. I can't remember how many degrees. I'll tell you here in just a second. But here's the... I did look over this a little bit. Um, you have to, you know, of course, scan that code and get you a... Uh, and get your app but I can't remember how many degrees it is I can't hardly read that but I think it says 360 degrees <coughs> this way you know turning this way Yeah, it's 360 degrees this way. I can't remember how much it goes up and down, how many degrees. And it doesn't say. It's supposed to have night vision. So. But, yeah, so that's that. So what I'm going to do, I mean, there's really not much to show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the app put on my phone and get it set up. I mean, it's an, it's an app, you know, I mean... I'm not going to show all that. That's pretty boring. Uh, you got a hotspot connection, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's supposed to have um, motion tracking. 
So if it picks up motion, it's supposed to follow it. You know what I mean? And you're supposed to have two-way talk. So it's supposed to, like, if somebody's walking in front of it, it picks them up, it's supposed to follow them, zoom in, whatnot. Um, like I said, I'll have to read the user manual, manual for all that. Which is kind of, it is in English, but it's kind of broken English, but you get the idea. Um, you got you got your function description, you got your video playback, SD storage, cloud storage. Like cloud storage, uh, you know, it says click the cloud icon to enter the cloud storage interface. Choose the type of cloud storage base on your demands. Click continue and pay it. That's what. <laughs> now click continue and pay. Alright, so. Let me get this all set up. My app set up. And we're going to take it out. I'm just going to run an extension cord right now. Like I said, I'm just going to hang it up in front of the house. I'm right out front here, kind of in the center. Um, I've got, you know, an outlet there. And I'm going to hang it with an extension cord. We'll hang it there and try it out for a few days. See if we like it or not. We'll be, you know, I'll be able to tell within a couple of days if I like it. But we'll just have to see. I don't know if it gives you notifications or anything like that. I'm not sure, you know, there wasn't much about it because it was so cheap. But you get two of them, so I figure what the hell we'll try it. If anything, maybe we can keep one in here. I don't know. We'll have to find, we'll, we'll figure all that out later. But right now, let me, like I said, let me get my app set up and then I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. This, this is what I got set up for temporary right now. Things trying to follow me. Look at that SD card. Doesn't fit in there right. But it will not follow me up and down. So if I'm going up a hill, that doesn't make sense. But So let's go. Let's see if it follows me over here to the vet. Yep. Very shaky course like I said what was it 40 bucks but still you know okay now I'm gonna turn it up this way get my phone right I'm gonna turn it up this way and we'll and also this if you push the up button it goes down if you push the down button the buttons aren't right but if you flip it then your image is upside down so there's that it's very slow not real responsive Okay, so there's one alert at 5:18. It's 5:25, so I don't think it's recording us right now, which is kind of stupid. There's the home screen. All right, so I'm going to come back with you, and there's one alert. Let's click on the alert. I was earlier so it's got none of us right this second so I don't know why I've got it on I've got it set I'll show you here Hang on. my phone's about to die let's go to settings SD card recording all time recording. See? Doesn't seem to be doing that. I mean, doesn't make sense. I don't know, guys. 
All right, so we're going to come back out at night and see how well it picks up at night. Also, I can do this. And there we are there. So, I mean, it's all right for, I mean, I wouldn't rely on it, you know, because it's supposed to be giving me notifications. It has not given me one notification. It has not sent me an email or anything. So, all right, I'll study up some more on it and we'll go from there. So, but next footage you, sh you see of this We'll be at night time. Hang tight, guys. We're going to go outside, check this camera out, see what it looks like at night. I'm going to shut this porch light off. There's Hi. the camera. You are currently being recorded. Now that's that. Not the, okay. All right, it picked us up. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, that's the light from that it does have an alarm that's supposed to go off but it doesn't go off all the time now also that thing will pick up mosquitoes and stuff flying past because I looked in it a little bit ago with my phone and um, there's the alarm and uh, it was following mosquitoes But I can see that it's following me. That light will shut off in 60 seconds and then come back on. So, we're going over here. Let's see if it'll follow me over here. It should because I had it turned. I mean, it'll turn clear back around. It doesn't actually, it's 360, but you can't like turn it around and around. Um, it'll go like, it'll point like towards the wall and then you have to go back around the other way. Let's see if we can get this light to kick on again. See, so you know, it's pointing over here. See, so it's going that way. I think it's chasing this bug here. I'm trying to get it to turn back around. That's kind of stupid so I mean follow me hi you are currently being recorded and also that thing is very loud see it's going right back around is that bug there following that fucking bug All right. get my phone out here and turn the app on see that's what it's looking at right now so if it's pointing that way how's it going to pick somebody up walking up to the house that's the stupidest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on, turn around. It's going that way. Oh, because I keep forgetting. There we are. Now let's see if it'll follow me. <laughs> it keeps turning towards the damn wall. Look at that. See?
It don't make sense. And it will not follow me like up and down like if I was on a hill or something. Okay, so see it'll come clear over here. I'm trying to get it to follow me. Once it locks on to you, you know, see there it's it's trying to see. Now let's go up here. See, it's still facing that way. It quit following me. That stupid back porch lights on. See, it's still pointing that way. That, that doesn't make sense. Let's turn the app off. Okay, and turn it back on. Okay, I turned the app off and the light came on. And this is supposed to be recording all this, guys, so I don't know if it is or not. See, it's pointing that way. How in the hell is that thing supposed to pick up something if it's not pointing out this way? See, here we are. And it's going the wrong way again. Come on. See? It's pointing the wrong damn way. There it comes. Only because it picked up that car. Let's put the footage up from this and then I'll come back with you with my final thoughts. I'm going to take the card out of there and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. downtown on St. Patrick's Day and sitting at the bar drinking. Well, we did. We've sat at a bar, many bars and drank many times. Downtown there. I blocked it off. We ate down there. Hi, you 
are currently being recorded. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. This thing, do I recommend it? No. I'll put a link in case you want it for like inside your house. Maybe it'd be better. I'm going to hook the other one up inside tonight. See if it's better in there. But for outside motion tracking, it sucks. Um, you know, I, I know for the price, what do you expect? Well, I expect it to do what it says it'll do. And it doesn't. I mean, you know, I hate when people say, what do you expect for the price? Well, you know, I expect it to do what it says it will do, and it's not. I mean, the motion tracking, you know, doesn't really lock on. Once it finds me, it takes a minute to stop and then it has to go back, and then it passes me again. And it just, uh, you know, if you want one just to put outside or something to look around the wildlife, maybe, I don't know might be all right for that like I said I'll link the description or I'll, I'll link it in the description but um, the point is it's and, and when I imported I'll throw a screenshot up right now so if you look up in the left hand corner it says December 1969 I can't change it it doesn't say that on the like the images and stuff has the right time and date I think I didn't even really look at the date Hi. You um, but the thing about it is it's you know um, for security no for fun yeah it's it's fun for 40 bucks like I said I'm gonna try it inside the house I'll let you know later how it does inside the house that'll be alright but I'm not going to use it for security out here. Um, it's supposed to send me an email every time that thing locks on to something and it doesn't. Um, I've got 240 some video clips and I got like three emails. That's it. So, you know, what I mean, I can't talk to somebody because I won't know they're there unless I happen to just be looking and see him it's not going to let me know that someone's walking up I can't talk excuse me I can't talk to him you can't turn the alarm down uh, and you can't turn it up it's not very loud um, that's not enough to scare anybody security reasons no especially like if you're if you're going playing on you know let's say you sell car stereos or or camera equipment or you know you work on that stuff uh, you got a garage with a lot of expensive tools don't don't get that for security it's it's not gonna work for you guys it just it's it's just not you can't you know distinguish like like on the door on the ring doorbell you can um, you can uh, you know put it for people only this you can't do that like I said I understand the price is so cheap though yeah but this thing is recording nothing but bugs and I noticed over there on the Toyota um, like if a car is coming up the street here from left to right right now you know the the headlights go down this you know reflect down the side of the truck this way and I noticed it's locking onto them So, and it's locking on to every little bug it picks it up and the quality as far as for outside it's horrible yes I don't I don't know what's going on with that 1969 bullcrap but now if you look here storage because you know I've got it on memory card all right format storage card since I'm not on the cloud I'm going to format the SD card okay okay it worked that time now I just tried it like four times before I turned the camera back on and it wouldn't it wouldn't format it so I don't know guys for I'll let you know how it does inside the house but for security outside no there's no way 
there's no way that thing's going to lock on to something and follow it and track it you know um, if somebody's like creeping through your yard by the time it tries to get locked on and everything your stuff's gone your car's gone whatever your stereo's gone out of your car nah no, I don't recommend it. I will link it down below. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to send it back or not. Um, they do have more expensive ones like that. But I don't know if they'd be any better. They're all pretty much the same. And they all say the same thing. What what, what gets me is, is they make it out to be something it's not. And like when they, like if you look at ads or videos, it shows it locking right onto somebody and following them and, and all that. I don't know what, what it's doing that for. Um... It shows them locking onto it and zooming in and out, and it's following them around. Well, you saw it doesn't like to follow me. You know, it by the time it catches up to me, it's done past me, and then it has to go back and it passes me again. And it's so loud. It's so loud. Uh, the motor. You'll probably heard it in some of them clips. But there you go, guys. Uh, nah, I'm not happy with it at all. I don't recommend it. I will put one in the house, I'll let you know. And that you can't shut off. You can't shut that off. Um, it just has... It just has uh, low, medium, and high uh, sensitivity on it. You can't shut the alarm off. I don't know, guys. Anyway... Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. It's getting a couple thumbs down for me. I may even send it back because this is now. I mean, for 40 bucks, you know, you can buy a cheap camera and set up outside with a memory card and, you know, let it record, whatever. But as far as motion tracking, it's horrible. So it's no better than the ones I got up here on the corner of the house, you know. And then, if that's all you got, let's say you got got a couple of those and it's trying to, you, you know, what if you only have one and it's trying to lock on something, it's moving around, you can't see anything else. You cannot see anything else because it's trying to catch up to that. It can't lock on fast enough and it won't stay locked on. It's, I don't know, it's horrible. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a good weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, and take care, everyone.